and I saw a lady in a wheelchair and she was she didn't look too healthy. Three weeks later, I saw the same lady running out of the place. And when I saw that, I said either this uh, lady had miraculous healing or this place is driving her crazy. <laughs> and, uh, and I found out it's a tremendous healing place and what they used to heal from a diet standpoint was the food. Right, the and that's a wonderful place, folks, if you need information on that center or Paul, where he's going, or Tara Bella, or me, my skating, and my books coming out. Just email us or call the phone number and we'll hook you up. Um, but Paul, how did the disease get healed? I mean, can you tell somebody that's sitting out there with colitis, Crohn's, cancer, diverticulitis, what should these people begin doing? Well, basically, like any disease, what's what, not what you add to your diet or your lifestyle, it's what you eliminate. I eliminated what's caused the problem, and then I started to get better. And I realized that getting better and being healthy were not the same thing, so I kept on the path. Never stopped, and to this day, I don't stop, and I always look and things will make me healthier. Wow. And, and you're a 100% raw finger for how many years? Uh, I know. Oh, go ahead. At least over a dozen years now. We met 11 years ago. Paul doesn't remember this. At the. Sure, I remember. You remember? Yes, oh, yes. How could I forget? Bella, Terra Bella, <laughs> to do the Tarantella with our great chef, with Alyssa, who'll be on the set. And the raw food gives you a lot of energy, right? You can tell. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at me. I'm, I have a dearth of words and energy. But he came in with a t shirt that didn't say this, it said the Durian King. And it's like durian king. So we were at this party after the, the festival, and he has these big bags, like 20 durian. I had never heard of it before. It stunk like heaven, but stunk like hell, but tasted like heaven. He vacuum hoovered one down. And I said, what is that thing? It was a yellow pod. It was sweet. It tastes like apple banana pudding. It's delicious. And today I learned it's a detoxifier. It's great for the liver. It's the only fruit that has protein, fat, and fiber in it, and it is delicious. So he turned me on to durian thanks to him, and he was called the Durian King. So that was 11 years ago. You helped me go raw, so I know you're raw for at least 12 years. And I still have the picture of that, that time when we met. That night. You know, you have pajama parties, but we had durian parties. So great. Anyway, but another question I have for you is, um, what am I, you're such a great author. I mean, I've read all your books, and I'm reading um, Health According to the Scriptures right now, which folks got to get it. Please tell us about this book, how you came to it, and he also has a new cover. See, I got the first edition, but notice the spirit light shining and the durian here. How did you get to this book, Paul? Well, as I was reading and researching about health and healing, I've read thousands of books on this topic, and then finally I read a book, uh, which I, to this day, think is the best health book ever written. It's called the Bible. And in Genesis 129 in the Bible, it says the foods for us to eat are raw, ripe, fresh, and organic fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And there are tremendous amounts of testimonials and stories of uh, people getting healed in the Bible by just following the instructions of our Creator. Right. So that's how I got involved in that. And I took those scriptures out of the Bible and I put them into this book here so people can see the great health message of the scriptures. I have to tell you, I cannot stop reading this. And I read it page by page slowly. And when I met Paul about a month ago, I went to one of his lectures. He said to me, I said, Paul, I have these leg problems as an athlete. I said, I have sleeping problems. What should I eat? What should I take? What should I do? What raw food? What pill? What fiber? What exotic food? What superfood? What exercise regime? And he said, Debbie, pray, rest, and wait for guidance. Pray, rest, and wait for guidance. I said, well, but can I eat or take or drink or do something? And that's what I love about your book. He said, rest is almost more important because our number one killing Americans is overeating and undersleeping. Overeating and undersleeping. And not having a spiritual life and then not waiting for the answers. I've been praying, resting, and asking, and I've had miracles thanks to you. Every prophet in the history of history always had one thing that we miss today, and it's called patience. Everyone's rushing, and they're just rushing to their sickness because they're doing things that aren't healthy. So I say, get this book, take some of his tips, and if you had one tip for the raw fooder out there or the meat eater trying to transition to this raw lifestyle, Paul, what would you tell them? Well, we know the great healing power of food, and we know the highest quality food will determine the highest quality health. And the highest quality food is raw, right, fresh, and organic. But even more important, what we don't know and don't understand what Like this? No, like this, exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. my God. Come in wow. here, girl. <laughs> This, this is it right here. here. <laughs> like I always say, there's no medicine better than prayer, no doctor better than our creator, but this is a great vehicle to get the greatest help. And when we have beautiful mm -hmm. chefs like this yeah. and beautiful messengers like this, what more can you ask for? If this isn't a great testament of the raw food diet, I mean, I don't know what is. This is a great way to live, and we, all three of us here, 
and thousands of people I've met around the world have been eaten this way, and it's, it's the greatest gift that our Creator gave us, and to not do it is a crime. Let food be thy medicine, let medicine be thy food, like Hippocrates says. And I always say, don't just do something, sit there. Wait for the movement to hit you. Pray, ask, and wait, and the divine time will come when you're supposed to eat according to Mother Nature's law, and that's raw, because that's the way. This is fabulous chef Melissa. She is the founder of Carabella. And what I love about Melissa's food is that it not only has authenticity, but ethnicity. It also has affordability. And look at the colors of this rainbow salad. This is fabulous. Melissa, you've already been on the show, but tell us, our audience, what this is. Make them hungry. This is an awesome. We don't have smell of vision today. <laughs> well, this is a wonderful um, salad with um, all of our hot tits off of the menu, so you can give a little taste of everything we offer. Sunflower sprouts. Yep. I love them. They give and it's all very light. It's all sprouted, and it's, mm. it's wonderful. It all combines very well. And what's this nice little love? That's raw and roll ball here. No, no fried beans. No And fried ricotta beans. cheese, your favorite. Wow, this is the kind of cheese? Uh, ricotta. ricotta. This is the ricotta. She makes the best manicotte. She made it on our show, so you'll have to watch our future shows because yes. the list is on. This is made out of uh, cashews and pine nuts and lemon. And then she puts, puts this sublime tomato sauce on that. Her mind takes me right back to my New York Brooklyn mom <laughs> on yes. Sundays with Mama B so and our raviolis. The sauce. The sauce. <laughs> So anyway, um, and then we've got these fabulous dehydrated crackers. Do you like dehydrated crackers? Oh yeah. These are to help people transition that love bread and fried chicken and pasta. These will give you that little bit of crunch and that carb that you need to transition so you won't have to pig out. And that's another thing about raw foods is it takes away the cravings for cooked food. Because live food is live energy, life force, life. Dead food is dead food, dead energy, dead force. We're all choosing life this year. What are you going to choose? So, mmm. Nice. And then dip it in one of the sauce. <laughs> we have some tuna pate, which is all sprouted as well. Mm -hmm. Tuna pate right here. Very nutrient rich. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. This food is. And then you got your sweater. It's mm -hmm. to live for. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Undescribable. Folks, mm -hmm. I can't put a word to it. You're just going to have to come in and try it. The flavors just explode in your mouth. Just looking at it, my eyes start to eat for my salivary glands do, which is how you should eat your food. You start, start the digestion in the eyes. And come down to Terabella, Redondo's first raw vegan organic restaurant. We have beautiful girls, such as Melissa, and fabulous speakers. Paul, where are you going next? I know you're traveling all over and doing so many things. Tell us. All over. I'm going to be in Vegas. I'm going to be in Arizona. But I'm going to do a retreat in Michigan, 100 miles outside of Chicago at the end of September. Well, we have Michigan viewers. And then your new book is coming out. My book's coming out. Melissa, you've got so many I've more lectures. Some books, lectures. Oh, yeah. Keep watching the Debbie Merrill Show, Raw Foods on the Roll, and we'll get you on that rock and raw road of happy destiny. We love you. Eat fruit. Stay cr cute. Cute. Uh -huh. Eat raw. Stay um, that's Mother Nature's law. Eat green, stay keen, clean, and lean. Arigato, danke, bye bye, hasta luego, arrivederci. Ciao, ciao, ta ta, God is calling. Wow, well, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, thank you, Diego. Woo! He's awesome. Now we're going to have real creative fun. My next guest is a professional Congo bongo player, and he's going to take us off the air with the wrong role, Becky Vegan dancers, Skyler and Wendy. Thank <laughs> you. 